a show that we talked about earlier when it when it first dropped run finished up their seven episode season last night um you know it's it's labeled as a mini series on hbo go i'm not sure if this is going to be a mini series maybe we can save that discussion for the end what do you think uh i so i've watched a reddit interview on deadline vicky jones has plans thoughts on a season two it's not officially announced but it sounds like she's very open to continuing the show i had gone in assuming it was a cut and dry mini series but i guess that's not the won't be the case assuming the creator gets her way but hbo hasn't announced the season two yet executive produced by phoebe uh, waller bridge um starring uh merritt weaver Damal gleason um and basically the premise is that they are these old lovebirds from back in college whose lives went in different directions, but they had a pact that if either of them texted run and the other person texted run back, they'd hop on a train and head out to the West coast of America. And that's what happens. That's how this show starts out. Um, we covered episode one, which I think we both really liked. We felt like there's some elements of comedy mixed with mystery uh, we were, I think, excited to see how these characters' backgrounds kind of played into their decision to do something like this um, and and to see where it took them. And I, I actually thought the first, like, three to four episodes are pretty good. Some parts a little bit slow. And I, I think the, the will they, won't they of, like, hooking up was a, a bit frustrating for me only because it seemed like you made this huge choice to just leave your lives behind and now like this part is hanging you up um felt just like a bit curious but then the show really takes a turn in the second in right in the middle of the season um spoiler alert if you haven't watched i'd say go watch and come back to this when donald gleason's uh partner uh work partner assistant dies and uh it's kind of not known if gleason pushed her she fell um, and what they're gonna do with that and then it kind of becomes about like uh will they won't they turn themselves in like uh and then there's cops involved phoebe waller bridge shows up and is hilarious but also just like i wanted just to watch her more you know it the the show just felt like it it never really figured out what it was going to be and then ended on a very soft note last night i felt like so I was left a little bit disappointed. Dave, were you feeling the same way after run season one? Uh, yeah, I, I was. You know, going in after episode one, we talked about it. I wasn't really sure what the show was going for. There's elements of a love story, romanticism. There's thriller elements. There's a lot of different things. And I wasn't really sure what their angle was. And the show kind of just goes down the middle with it and then becomes a thriller at the end, but it's kind of over something lame in terms of uh, did he kill Archie Punjabi's character? Will he get away with it? And it's like, Mm -hmm. I just think, you know, the show's good. The show's strengths revolve around Merritt Weaver, just bringing her really unique energy, showcasing her talent as an actress, a two time Emmy winner. Yet, just the premise and where the script went, even in short 25 minute episodes, which is kind of strange. I was like, this isn't really that much of a thriller and they're really dragging out the, the romantic connection, but then they basically throw that all the way at the end, but they're kind of leaving it open for a season two. So I've, I'm just getting these vibes of shit getting walked back and the show potentially going off the rails, the train leaving the station. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and in the in the middle too, it, I I was kind of annoyed with some of the character decisions being a little illogical, and found uh, both of them to be unlikable at times as well. So, yeah, oh, yeah. it's uh, I never really knew what I was looking for, and I don't know if the show did a good job of telling me what I should have been looking for. So, yeah, I was a little underwhelmed. Yeah, I completely agree. I, you know, and it's it's interesting to. I know Phoebe Waller-Bridge is highly in demand, and I wonder how much she actually had input on this. Obviously, she was in the last three episodes. Um, because the writing on Fleabag was so tight and so well thought out that then to have this be kind of her next big project that we're seeing feels right. a bit confusing because 
like you've I think really stated really really well the show never really even lets you know what you should expect or what or what you want out of these characters and I I found them both pretty detestable when you when you get down to the core of it I mean Damal Gleason is uh completely misogynistic it seems like um very shallow um doesn't really seem to care about people at all <laughs> using everybody in his life yeah and Merritt Weaver seems to be uh a bit of a I don't want to say coward, but someone who just feels very much like their their life has just taken them for a ride instead of them taking control of their life. And this feels like her attempt to get that back, but doing it in like the complete wrong way and the stuff with her family just really leaves you like a bad taste in your mouth a lot of times. And you're kind of like, these two people really suck. <laughs> like, why yeah, would exactly. I, who am I rooting for here? Uh, yeah. I found myself rooting for Phoebe Waller Bridge's character and Babe the Cop. I want I, I want to watch more of them. Show me their relationship. Babe seems like a terrible cop, but also like well-meaning. And Phoebe Waller Bridge's character obviously has uh, some stuff going on, maybe. But, but I think was very funny seeing her sing karaoke. Whitney Houston's "I Will Always Love You." I literally was like in tears laughing at. I thought that was hilarious. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I I think that's probably not a good sign for your show when these two side characters end up being what I want to see more of. Um, but I digress. Anything that you think did work with run season one? I think all the performances are good uh, and the runtime worked to its pleasure, uh, to its benefit. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it the show was able to take little detours, like when they're in uh, Chicago and stuff. Yeah. And a lot of that's really fun. But I think if you can, if the show hones in on what its goals are a little bit better than these side detours and side characters like Phoebe Waller Bridge and other people you add will land, I think, uh, better to, to better effect the show and not be as distracting because they stand out as being highlights as was, you know. So, yep. yeah, uh, I, I'm not opposed to, I mean, I'll watch season two if they make it, of course. I'm just curious to see what would happen and really if they do get to make that chance. And even if they don't, I do appreciate the swing. You know, they definitely tried to do something a little different and that's cool. Yeah. No, definitely. I think the structure was different. I, I think... Like you said, the concept is uh, it sets you up to have these little side adventures that maybe they can take more advantage of in like a ten episode season. Um, I also really thought that there were like some really fun, silly moments between them, like whether it was the episode where Merritt Weaver, I think it was season episode two or three, where she really wanted to have sex with him, but Dom Hall Gleason was very noncommittal towards this, so she brings the guy back, and they end up just talking and kind of like working things out i felt like that was like a really like human moment and kind of helped build that character out in a really nice way and we i felt like, like i really wanted more of that even when merritt weaver like makes a friend with you know uh archie's character i forgot, I forgot what the character's name was um and is kind of talking about her life and how she's running away with this guy even though you know the, the assistant obviously knows the whole time that i thought that was very like humanizing so just seeing more of that sort of stuff i thought would be good um yeah, I don't know. It's, it's sad because I was actually I had really high hopes for this show. So I'm hoping that if season two does come around, they can write the ship. 